Hello everyone. Here we talk about the Poisson distribution. Poisson distribution is a typical discrete random variable probability distribution. When a random variable represents the counts of the certain outcomes observed in each unit space segment, or time interval, or any other well-defined segment or interval. This kind of random variable may follow Poisson distribution. Generally, we can describe the Poisson model as observing the number of clients waiting for service in line. The random variable is the possible number of clients observed in line waiting for some kind of service in certain length of time period. Theoretically, the possible number is unlimited, but they all non-negative number and they all whole numbers. So that means could be zero, one, two, three, and so on, unlimited. Here are some typical random variables may follow Poisson distribution. If we observe the number of patients arrive at a hospital emergency room per hour. So the number being observed could be Poisson distribution. We may observe the number of patients per hour, or per half hour, or per two hour, or per day. So we may consider many different kinds of time interval. Similarly, number of the calls received by dial technical support in 30 minutes period can also be considered as Poisson distribution. Number of cars served at the gas station in 24 hour period and the number of defects per square meter of leather. So they are typical examples. Poisson distribution apply. We assume that the number of clients in line are independent. The probability of observing certain number of clients in line keeps the same in the same length of time interval. Lambda is used to represent the average number of clients observed in line in each unit time interval mean or expected value, we use mu. The subscribe to point it out, the random variable, x. So e come from the first letter, expectation. So lambda t is the average value for this random variable. For example, if we talk about the phone calls in half hour, so that means lambda t represent how many phone calls being received on average per half hour. Standard deviation, very similar, but we have square root lambda t. So this is a special occasion for Poisson distribution. Probability distribution being described by this expression, so that means the probability distribution all in this formula. At the end, that's the possible values being listed. For all the possible values, for each individual possible value, corresponding probability being calculated by this formula. The meanings of all these letters or symbols being explained here. T represents the time period, the unit. X represents the number of successes in that we are interested time unit. Number of successes means number of clients, number of calls, number of customers, and number of uh, errors, all this kind of stuff. Lambda, which is expected the number of success in one segment, one unit. 
So when we say lambda t, we can simply transform to any interested time segments or time interval. E is called the natural base. That's a special irrational number. If the number of arrivals to the checkout section of the store follows Poisson distribution, and there will be 16 arrivals on average per hour. So with this kind of background, if we see this is the situation follow Poisson distribution, so we can get the information t for one hour and lambda will be 16. And we can calculate the probability that we will observe exactly 12 arrivals in next hour. So this is how we apply this formula. We put a 12 in the formula, x is 12. So we plug 12 in, and we have a lambda there. And the lambda t represents average, since this situation we talk about only one unit. So we have the average value, 16. And here show you the chart. This is a probability distribution chart for each individual value. We have the probability as the height and the lay of them, and you can see the shape looks like. And this can, and this calculation can be easily done in Excel. So here we pointed out the Excel solution. So the first parameter, 12, which is random variable, pick up the value. And the second parameter, 16, which is the average value for the time interval we considered. And the last one, 0, represents not cumulative. If we are talking about the x maximum 12, that means including all the previous situation, and we would use cumulative case and the last parameter would be chosen one here we also show you how this operation should be done on your calculator but if you have a different model of calculator this order might be different you can try out yourself for the same question background we can also ask a question how much chance we may observe exactly one arrival at the checkout section in next hour so here x change the value one here's the probability very small correspondingly excel solution if we ask how much chance we may observe at least one arrival at the checkout section in next hour, at least one. At least one. The inclusive situation, maybe one, maybe two, maybe three, maybe any other number bigger than one. So here's the case. At least one means we are looking for probability x is one or bigger. So the only case being out is zero. So we can simply use 1 minus probability 0. So we can get this answer. And we can have Excel solution as well, x being replaced 0. But we use 1 minus this to get the answer. Similarly, the question can be changed. How much chance will observe exactly one arrival to the checkout section in the next half hour? So our time unit change this time half hour so in that case on average 16 arrivals being observed per hour so half hour we would observe eight arrivals and we are looking for exactly one arrival the probability so x equals one this is how we put information in the formula to get the answer again excel solution here 
If we continue ask how much chance will we observe at least one arrival to the checkout section in next half hour? Similar idea. We use one minus p zero. Pay attention to at least. At least as inclusive situation, you get the bottom line. Bottom line is one. Here's the Excel solution. Continue. If we ask the probability observe at least five arrivals at the checkout section in next fifteen minutes. So we are talking about fifteen minutes. Our foundation changed, and the, the re event situation we ask the event is at least five arrivals. Maybe five, maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a long list. So we use the shortcut cut off the other ones not included, which is zero, one, two, three, four. They are not included. So we use one minus all those. We get equal or greater than five. We put them all in the formula. This time we notice fifteen minutes. So that is a quarter of an hour. So if we observe sixteen arrivals on average per hour, we would observe four on average per fifteen minutes. Here we get the answer. We can also use the Excel function to simply get it. And here you pay attention. We use the one for last parameter. So we calculate the cumulative situation. That including zero, one, two, three, four. That's cumulative, and then we use one minus. That's what we wanted. See you next time.